woken up every day for the past week to blistering sunshine. Summer is here. Just come out this evening to just drift down the river, really, in my dinghy. Which I do sometimes do. But it's a nice opportunity to just relax, look at the amazing scenery, and uh, think, really. That's perfect, there you go. Uh, right, quick situation update then. My access course is finished. Uh, it was... It was a living hell. If I had to describe it in one word... I think that one word would be chaos. That would be it. Nevertheless, I've survived it. And, and funnily enough, when I got to the last day... I just feel like a different person. I've slept for about three days straight. I mean, not solid, but I've done an awful lot of sleeping <laughs> for about three days straight. So I needed 36 distinctions and the rest at merit out of a possible 45. And that is an extremely tall order. Somehow I managed to pull a distinction out of the bag in my chemistry exam. I just, thank God, a chemistry teacher was amazing. I have to say that there were parts of the course that were very good. Uh, so what that means is that I've come away with it uh, with uh, 39 distinctions uh, and the rest at merit. So I'm in, that's it. Funding is applied for and that's been uh, uh, approved. I've made the grades. I am going to university in September to learn to be a paramedic. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, so I spent the last nine months um, sleeping in my car for two days a week because obviously the Ukraine war developed whilst uh, I was studying down there and the price of fuel went through the roof and I just could not have managed really to do that that course with commuting as well. And actually it's not just the money, it's the time that it took to get from where I live to where the course was. That That's adding sort of three hours into the day that I should be spending studying really sat in the library at, uh, at college or whatever anyway so i've been on a very hard routine for the past nine months and now i'm off that routine and i'm slowly decompressing i've slept a lot i've realized how much weight i've gained <laughs> uh, anyway so i'm going to sort of take steps to remedy all of that now get on a bit of a program try and get try to get a bit of recovery in because what I need to do is generate the same positive vision of the future that drove me to start doing this anyway to take that feeling onwards to university because I have to say that getting through that course nearly took my soul man. that was <laughs> that was hard anyway uh, the boat maintenance continues plans for this year then in 17 days time 17 days the Jester Challenge to Ireland kicks off. I'll be going on that, so I'll video that. I'll also um, put a tracking link on my Garmin InReach Mini uh, up, so that if anybody wants to follow it, they can. the standard westerly relining job to do. This is a before shot, so this is the forepeak. I've got uh, a broken hook. This is quite well stuck still, but not up here, it's been repaired, it's got glue over spray all over it there. You can see that as that's dropped, actually all of that has. So is that, <laughs> and that, that's just dreadful. Look. Uh, the lining on the sides, that hasn't well, actually, yeah, it's not stuck anymore. You know, it's not falling down, but it's not stuck anymore. Um, and you can see the windlass motor hanging out the bottom there. 
And those are basically the things that I don't like about the current setup. I don't like the fact that that motor is just hanging out there. That looks a bit, bit rough, doesn't it? Uh, and that all the lining is hanging off. I quite like the curtains though, they're okay. I have to say, I question the wisdom of using these types of lights, really. They're not very bright. There's a bit of damage there. And you have the corners right above your head. I mean, they're, they're, they're sleek enough. They're sleek enough for 1984, aren't they? Or 1983, whatever it was. But they're not really, they're not really up to modern standards, are they? The other thing I really hate about the way this is lined is that that lining, if it was stuck, appears to be stuck to the to the deck, and this is quite clearly just lifted up under it and and screwed on there. I just think it looks so thrown together. It doesn't look tidy at all. And even I suspect, even when it was first done like this, yeah, that's never going to look nice, is it? It's, it, it looks like it's, um, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's just badly fitting. It's two parts laid one on top of the other instead of butted up nicely. And at the moment I'm thinking I might use a van lining carpet. It isn't really carpet. For those of you that know me know that I detest carpet on a boat. I hate it. It's just not the right place for it. But that van liner it is its proper lining. It's only four mil thick or something and four-way stretch if I could get that to stick that would take all of the curves and look very very neat I also need to give some consideration to insulation perhaps although we're doing fine as it is without it so maybe I don't all things to think about and the other thing I've got to sort out is up here this this used to be a chain locker that you could access through this panel you can't access it through there now, it doesn't open, it's fixed. So this is just great for taking lumps out your toes, isn't it? We just take it off. I might do that now. Uh, and then I've got to find a way to, to square all this off. Um, yeah, and hide hide this enormous motor. Fantastic Lumar, Lumar windless. Very, very nice, but I don't want to look at it. I'm trying to fall asleep, do I? Just another thing that's been done on the boat that's just not, not particularly tidy anyway so there's the before shot let me just give you a little panorama there it is time I'm ever going to have to do it so I shouldn't complain. I've got fiberglass prickles on my forearm so I don't know what that says about what's in my eyes. I imagine I shall have sore eyes too. Maybe tomorrow, probably for a couple of weeks. I tried with eye protection but unfortunately once you've got eye protection on I can't see anything and that kind of defeats the object. So.
That's great. The trick, of course, is manhandling it all into position without really messing it up. That's next. So it turns out there's no rule that says that all the insulation has to be in one piece. I'm only doing the places where I can see the sunlight coming through and all I'll do is wait for nightfall and uh, do a little condensation check and see what's condensating and where and if I need to do anything else with it really. I'll do that before I line it obviously and then we'll know, won't we? Okay, well here's a little part way update. Four way stretch. New lights. Oh, that stuff is really nice, you know, that's really nice. I was of course in two minds about it. But that's gonna be a winner. That's nice. Okay. Here's a pet hate then. I hate reaching into lockers and finding stuff like that. Can you see that? It's a screw point, is it not screw head? So you reach into the shelving and go, what the hell was that? And if you reach under it, you find these trimmed cable ties. So those are sharp, spiky bits, and what they do is go under your nails. That is shoddy workmanship, and it leads to personal injury, and I don't like it. So I'm going to fix that today. All I've done is gone to my local um, fixing providing emporium, it's a screw fix, and got uh, these double cable clamps. And because they have some depth to them, even the same screws, I'll be able to set them up there nicely like that, and there'll be nothing poking up anywhere. Much nicer, and much neater looking. Let's see if we can get that sorted. As simple as that, you know. That's going to be nice. That's just a bit of splinters from the previous installation there where it's stuck up so much. God damn it. You know, why? Why do that? Why do that? Of course I haven't got the pliers to hand so I'm going to use this pair of scissors <laughs> and just scrape that down. But you know, what a terrible thing to do. Imagine putting those spikes Spike traps in the locker so you can reach it <laughs> every time. Oh, 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 like that. <laughs> Get your fingers every time. And just live with it like that. That's monstrous. It's a monstrous thing to do. Okay, that's better. That's all right. No more spiky bits. Right. Well, you know, that's it then. Eh? Works really great on the correctly sized cables for Luma Week. Now, you do have to kind of snap them in. They're a little bit loose once they're in there, but you know, if you're really that worried about it, you can always just wrap them with some tape or something to make them a tighter fit. So they aren't going to fall out. You can hear them snapping in there, you know. That's perfect. Cable ties screwed up through things. Good God, man. <sighs> It's perfect. Or it's as close to perfect as I need it to be, you know? Oh, another 
beautiful day. Come on in, let's have a look. Here we go, here's the after shot. Well, I've done is boxed that in. I could have made a little locker there, but it's not like I need more locker space, is it? And now, there are no spiky bits in there. That's all nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's my com badge. I wonder where that was. I can beam up now. Oh. So, the windows here, the port lights, were absolutely rotted out. Uh, there was nothing I could do with those. So I laboured over it, as I always do, and then I bought some tinted perspex, cut it to shape, and CT1'd it to the outside. I'm going to call that a temporary fix, but let's be honest, it's going to be there for a while. A CT1 on that, that's not going to let go. And what that means is that I can just stick those on the outside, run the four-way stretch right up to the window, and forget about it. That's it, it's done. That four-way stretch is incredible stuff. Look at the curves it's taken here in one piece. Whether sunlight is going to stop you from seeing that or not. Look at that look, in one piece. Quite remarkable, really. Um, you know, I'm very pleased with that. It's a major, major upgrade. All I haven't done yet, of course, is re-varnish. So I've scraped this stuff back to get all the, the varnished in mould out of it. Uh, I've scraped it back and it needs some varnish. I just need to get some, basically. Uh, and this here is just a bit of, I've just boxed it in with some plywood, some, uh, you know, it's not marine plywood, but nothing is these days. It's, um, what do they call it, WBP, exterior plywood, it's the best you can, you know, really. It's just not worth paying lots of money for something, it's never going to get wet anyway. Though. That's it, done. I need to do some shelving. Overall, I have to tell you, I am very, very happy with that. Uh, there are joints and seams. Most of them you can't see, and even the ones you can see, they don't look that bad. There's, there's one there that I've got to straighten up a little bit, look. I had to cut it and make it in several pieces. I've got to make some more coat hangers and put them back up, up here. Job done. All right, on to the next thing then, eh?